hello everyone welcome back so in today's video i will be sharing how to do a peak picking on a powder xrd plot using origin software first we will go import and file so i have a test file for you to show the peak picking now the file is imported yes so now uh, in this video i will be showing two types of peak picking one is the manual peak picking which you can go directly plot on plot a graph and then pick one by one peak manually the second thing is you can just make a automatic peak picking which much which is much more easy and time consuming when you wanted to do a multiple graphs and you wanted a more accurate peak picking in case of when your peaks are very close when your peaks are really are of a very small distance and then uh, and you have a lot of data to pick pick it is better you do an automated pick picking because it will be done in seconds if you do a manual pick picking you have to go on and peak manually note down the values then type it out so this becomes a little hectic problem so i'll show both of this so now i'm going to plot these datas and you could see that this this is in powder xrd data and uh, the baseline is a little broader so which is when I zoom it, you could see. So I am going to smooth it. What I'm going to do analysis, signal processing, smooth one dialog box. I'll give auto preview. Five. Let's see. I have to click auto preview. I'll give 20 points of smoothing. Yes, I think we are almost the peaks are good to I'll give graph auto to rescale when I give graph and rescale or you can press control R it will just rescale it to the full graph. I'm going to just make this graph little more beautiful by adjusting the scale. I'll make 10 and uh, the largest point is 80 that is the two theta value and vertical i'll make it 500 sorry i'll make it minus 500 so that we see the baseline and then the above would be 5k 5000 press ok now what we have is we have two lines one is red and black either i can click on the graph this will open or I can just click on this line also this will pop up both are same both the windows are same um, and if you have any difficulty in identifying the graphs see when I click this this is the red line which is smooth and it is also shows smooth and this is the original peaks I'm going to uncheck the original peak and you can see it from here Uncheck. I have unchecked it and then what I'm going to do when I apply the original peak disappears okay so now we are going to make this to be a little more thicker line so that it is easy for us to operate and then i'm going to change the color into some other color not red because i'll show you why when we do peak analysis all the indicator lines are in red color so to avoid confusion we will make a different colors for now i do not want this delete this now the graph is simple or want you can also remove this so that just have just selected and press delete it we just have simple graph yes so what i'm going to do and i'm going to do analysis select analysis peaks and baseline and peak analysis open dialog box so if you feel that I go very fast, you can slow down the video or pause it and then you can find it out. I make it very fast so that if somebody is looking for some specific doubts, they can just clarify it very easily. And you can also make it to your fast video so that if you know already and you are brushing it up, it will be also useful. This dialog box will pop up. And then in this, the first goal is to find peak. So these are the other different goals and this is fine peaks and if you want if you are looking for a very very detailed fine fit fit peak fitting you have to go to fit peak pro 
we are just going to find the peaks not going to fit the peaks or subtract peaks or create baseline so we are just going to find so i created this goal and then i am going to give next and uh, Got it disappeared. Okay. Open dialog box. I am going to find peaks. Give next. When I give next, previously it was not visible. I do not know what happened to the interface. So this is the minimum. So there is a red line. So previously we had a the graph color as red, the line color as red. So that's why I wanted to avoid the confusion. So this is an the red line is an automated generated because of we are doing a peak finding so when i give minimum it chooses the minimum value if i give maximum it chooses the maximum value and mean is the mean of all which is the average so median so this is the median of all so the mean and median is almost same here so it depends on you you have to choose what value you want i'm choosing median for my and then if you wanted to subtract a baseline here only you can do it for example if i just click auto subtract baseline and just give subtract now the baseline is subtracted and if you think the subtraction is not good you can just do undo it so these are reversible things and then you give next suppose if somebody feels that the baseline of this graph is not neat i have already discussed about the baseline correction or how to make a good baseline in the previous videos if you want you can check it out and i have when i click next it goes to the next option you have see we have created the baseline mode is in baseline treatment is done and this is the final step which is like finding the peaks so currently the number of peaks found was zero and because it is auto enabled i'm just going to give find it has found me one two and three which is also shown here it is three peaks is found but obviously we know we have to pick all these small peaks so why these peaks are not found is because it is auto selected and the threshold limit is 20 suppose in this case i have given the method or the criteria for the peaks to be found is height the so more the number of heights or more you have the threshold it finds so let's say like this is the minimum threshold level so which would be around here that is why it is just 20 percent so if this is considered to be 100 percent and this would be 50 so the uh, it is around the 20 percentage threshold but we, let's say like this would be around like five to six percentage so i'm going to uncheck this box of threshold height percentage and give 10 now i'm going to give find let's see i have found some peaks now i'm going to just decrease the threshold to find good number of peaks i've got this the two peaks are merging what i'm going to do i'm going to create 6 find still it is merging i'll create 10 so when you find these two peaks are merging it is really difficult to separate these because both are all same give 7 find p okay 6 i think i'll create keep with 7 and pick peak the peaks rest okay now what I'm going to do is there are also, also the other peaks to be found. A at last I have some, some. Yes. So this is the so 10 is the minimum value which you get a clean graph. So what I'm going to do, I've moved this this way so that it is easy for me to operate. What I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this auto find peaks. I'm going to add my peaks. This is like the additional which the software cannot pick or the software creates as a lot of data points which makes the graph looks not good so i'm going to keep here put a double click this is the first peak i have selected this is the second peak i have selected you keep the cursor here and put double click it generates a red line which means the point is picked as a peak i'll just pick either one of this because click picking of these both will create a almost same so i'm going to all these peaks this also i'm going to just pick one and this done what i'm going i have created extra seven peaks just create done 
it is beautifully aligned so now the one good thing point of uh, automated peak picking is it has selected very it, it has showed me very accurate value so i'm just going to give finish so now the graph is generated beautifully but you have got all these delete it now i'm going to give auto scale this good what i'm going to do now is add the lines The lines make the graph really beautiful. So how how did I do it? I just click this, so it is automatically it comes up everything. So I just have to go little do some editing things so that it becomes beautiful. Top. left side give it as nice yes outside yes Click here, delete. These are access titles. So I hope like people know how to bring on this major and minor things. For example, having given increment as two. If the increment is not two, scale is different. Previously, it was from 10 to an automated scale. So, I think different. I'm going to give one nine. Error at one. I think we'll leave it like this. To remove these red lines, what you do? Click on the lines and then uh, remove whatever you see it as red. Back. Back. This is also red. okay yes beautifully each peak is picked in some cases how do you do a manual peak picking is like it is better that you uh, zoom. let's say like i'm going to pick a pick here what i have to do i have to not use this so this is called a screen reader and uh, this is called as data reader so if i do screen reader press it here if you wanted to enlarge this cross mark you just keep pressing your tab it enlarges if i create this is the screen reader not data reader if i give this this is called as a data reader so you click here it reads data you click on this point this is x is equal to this much and y equals to this much so we have to note down this let's say like x is 12.505 have to put an arrow here and have to put 12.505 so this is how the manual pick picking works no it is tedious i just wanted to show if somebody just wants to add some few more peaks you wanted to tilt it upwards properties rotation i think i have to put 90 degrees rotate okay it rotates 90 degree yes 
one problem with the manual peak picking is that if I wanted to let's say I just I'm going to change the scale or I'm going to just click a zoom in create a zoom in see the 12 remains here but the automated peak picking never disappears it just sticks to the point where the peak is picked but when you do a manual peak picking I'll show let's see like I'm going to zoom these two peaks so the automated peak picking remains there it doesn't change but you see a manual peak picking the arrow is somewhere the value is somewhere so if you are doing a manual peak picking peak, please make sure that you have done all rest other modifications onto the graph and then do a manual peak picking i think that's all we have for today if you have any doubts or any queries regarding the origin software or powder xrd or any other plotting in an origin software please free to comment on the dialog box thank you